Hello, Aries, Taurus, Cusp, and our cross watchers. Welcome to my channel. I am Kiarka Love. How are you all doing? All right, y'all. So we're going to take a look into the month of October, see what comes up for you all. Please know that these will be general messages, okay? If you are interested in a personal or private read, I do have my email address listed in the description box below. If you are active on Facebook, Instagram, and or TikTok, and you would like to check me out, on my other social media platforms, feel free to just go down to that description box below. Um, I do have the links listed. If I do not, then just go to any platform, type in Tierra Love. I should come up, okay? All right, y'all. So, uh, Aries Taurus Cusp for the month of October. Let's see what's going on with you all. Again, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you to everyone that has previously liked, subscribed, shared, commented, or even just watched. I greatly appreciate it, okay? All right, y'all. So, let's see. Aries Taurus Cusp for the month of October. Let's see. Hold on, a card fell. All right, so hold on. Let's see, let's see. I got to get this up. Okay, Aries, Taurus, Cusp, and or Cross Watchers. We got a situation here where there's some conflict here that you are having with someone or having with others. It could be multiple people here, okay? But I do see the Five of Wands where um, there is maybe some animosity that's being built up here, but there are some things that's going on, okay? In this situation, you gotta ask your angels to assist you, all right? Expect a miracle, ask your angels to intervene, okay? Looks like this is a situation where you do feel kinda lost. Um, you don't quite know what's going on right now, and you could be fearing the unknown or what you do not know, okay? I do see, I feel like um, in this situation, you're feeling like you're being left out in the cold. Um, this could have something to do with work here, but there's a lot of ups and downs. You're feeling a bit, uh, there's a bit of this feeling of feeling in despair here, okay? I feel like right now you are wanting to follow your heart. Um, you are wanting, you're trying to choose to be happy. But there is something that is just making you exhausted when it comes to this situation. It could be a lot of drama here. It could be at your breaking point, okay? It could be in a situation where you're dealing with someone that has a bit of selfish intentions here. Um, you could be dealing with someone that wants too much right now and they're not giving out enough okay i do see the challenge would be good news um your happiness here you feeling like you have accomplished some things spiritually where you are ready to move forward here that is um a bit of a challenge here okay let's see aries choice cuss tell me more about the sun and the world here okay so right now um, if it's love, you're dealing with someone that is, you feel like this person is out with somebody else. This person could be, it could be late or last minute cancellations here. Or you could be dealing with someone you feel like they is um, a little bit up to no good here. Okay. We do have, let's see. Um, a reconciliation that seems to be in the challenge here. So there could be a situation where your person got to make a decision or you have to make a choice here. Um, choosing to settle differences here and close out old chapters and go into a new one. Um, it seems to be a challenge, okay? In the recent past, I see you have put a lot of your time, work, energy, effort into a situation or a person, and you're still kind of waiting to reap the benefits here. We do have the siren, so some destructive behavior here. It is like a, a red flag in the recent past, okay? Tell me more here, all right? But I do feel like that um, during this period, 
it was a period of silence here. You was either suffering in the silence or this person that you're dealing with um, is suffering in the silence here, okay? You do know that, well, what you do know is that the answers are within you with the high priestess, okay? Um, and you do have a higher knowing, okay? Um, I think there is some things. You're still contemplating your thinking here. Um, you do know that there is someone that is avoiding some type of responsibility. Maybe this person you're dealing with is doing anything to kind of avoid changes here. So you do know that either you're playing like you don't know the answers or this person is playing dumb, okay? Um, let's see, what else do you know about this situation that um, somebody is resisting the connection here or we're trying not to, the guard... Their guard is up or your guard is up. We're really guarded here, okay? Um, if this is love, this is a situation where you know this person loves you, but they're not ready to act upon it here, or um, you're just still trying to figure things out, okay? I do see what you're moving towards is a situation where you emotionally are just over it here. Um, there is a situation where you're needing to use protection if you are not trying to be with child, okay? I do feel like right now, um, you're staying somewhere out of convenience or this person that you're dealing with is staying somewhere out of convenience and starting over, it just feels like a, uh, they're like living in their comfort zone, okay? So I see the feminine energy here is choosing to find someone better or is really fed up has had enough and is going to decide on whether or not you're ready to cut your losses here okay so let's get you all some more messages aries taurus cuss aries taurus cuss for the month of october okay you feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving this person you're also forgetting that you are deserving of love here, all right? You got to wait for a divine timing. You don't want to focus on when, but just know that there's a divine plan and a divine time on accomplishing these plans here. So you want to learn all there is to know. Um, yeah, learn from this situation, okay? Uh, go deep within yourself to try to bring forth a change. All right, let's get you all some advice. For somebody here, you're separated from your soulmate, and it can be painful, but you got to let your pain be a catalyst for change, okay? All right, know that you are safe and divinely guided as you all continue to move forward here. Try to be a little bit more vulnerable in this connection, but you got two warning signs destructive behavior and warning so don't dismiss the red flags okay also your person is possibly going to come in with some type of an apology you can expect the apology you want to hear all right so that is a quick look into october for you all i really hope that will be helpful thank you all so much uh for your likes subscribe shares comments i greatly appreciate it i will see you all next time bye